Greetings. Our solidarity. Our solidarity. Greetings. Greetings. To all of you. To all of you. For this action. For this action. And for the actions over the last few nights. And for the actions over the last few nights. For us. For us. This is. This is. Real democracy. Real democracy. At this moment. At this moment. David Cameron, David Cameron, who pretends to represent us, who pretends to represent us, is meeting in Brussels, is meeting in Brussels, decide, to decide the climate and energy policy, the climate and energy policy of the European Union. Of the European Union. It sounds very dull. It sounds very dull. But in reality, but in reality what they're deciding, deciding is the future for all of us. It's the future for all of us. It's the future of the planet. It's the future of the planet. And it's the future of the poorest people in the world. And it's the future of the poorest people in the world. And you won't be surprised. And you won't be surprised that those leaders, that those leaders are not there. Are not there representing our views. Representing our views or our interests. Or our interests. What they're doing there, what they're doing there is, creating is creating a license to pollute, a license to pollute for big dirty energy. For big dirty energy. The UK government, the UK government is, opposing is opposing even policies, even policies around, energy efficiency, around energy efficiency that bring warm homes, bring warm homes to the poorest people. It brings warm homes to those people to who this winter will make a decision whether to heat their homes or to buy food. And the reason being is that they want to give a license to the fracking companies in that building over there, they make decisions that force people with disabilities to go through tests, to go through tests, humiliating tests, to decide if they can get benefits. They have no problem handing out millions to big oil and fracking companies. That's why, That's why what we do here today, we do here today is so important. Is so important.